Day Miracle Swingers. Okay, by popular request, we are going to take a look at the amazing golf swing of Victor Hovland. Oh, yes, my main man has an OTT golf swing. Now check out this short montage of how cool this guy is. Where Victor Hovland is about to hit his second shot himself. Well, the lead kind of shrunk around him. For Victor here, 14. Got to be careful here. Very fast oh, around the yeah. hole. Oh! Guys, that's how you hit a golf ball, okay? Just to give you a little insight into how I wound up doing this, I want to introduce my friend, John Levitt, who's the finest golfer I've ever known personally. Victor Hovland's golf swing. Yeah, there's a lot of things I like about his golf swing. I particularly like the way he covers the golf ball with his right shoulder. He, he definitely has what we would call an over-the-top swing. He has kind of a hold-on fade. And that's basically what, what the guys are going to now. That's, that's the big move right now in golf. John's the one that first told me about this, okay? So I'm not some wacko that came up with some crazy idea. And he told me because it's what the PGA Tour players are doing, guys. Swinging over the top is the way they're doing it. And they're smashing their six irons 220 yards because of it. That's how the whole conversation started was I asked John, I was like, how come I hit my pitching wedge from 125 and you hit your pitching wedge from 145, but we drive it the same distance? He's like, dude, you're not covering the ball. How do you cover the ball? You got to swing over the top of it a little bit. That's what it feels like. Okay. It's how the shoulders work in the golf swing, guys. Okay. Now, before we get deeper into Victor Hovland's golf swing, I want to talk about what's happening in my journey. Okay. I just got out of a great yoga class this morning. And when you practice yoga, we refer to the poses as sacred poses, okay? When I first started practicing yoga, I, I would be like in a state of panic and anxiety. But you have to work through that stuff. And then you find a peace and quality of mind that is much deeper. I'm finally, with my OTT swing, able to find that peace. I'm, I'm able to move to the next level because you got to transcend the body. Okay, you got to transcend the body before you can get to the deeper levels of the work. And if your swing sucks, you're never going to transcend. Okay, that's why the OTT is a miracle for me. If you're not satisfied with your swing, pick up the over the top miracle swing. Sign up for MSE TV. That's even better because I'm giving lots of updates. I'm working on putting videos right now because I've had a couple breakthroughs in my putting. All these things are available for my membership. And John's new video, The Process, is something that I'm working on that I want to bring to MSE TV so you guys can transcend and get to the next level in golf. Now let's check out the awesome golf swing of my main man, Victor Hovland. All right, guys, let's take a look at the awesome golf swing of Victor Hovland. Now, you guys have heard me screaming about this. Here it is right here. It takes it up to the inside and up. And now we're going to see a generous OTT move with a tremendous forward bend at the waist. Now, a lot of people are actually comparing Victor Hovland to Lee Trevino, that he gets into this incredible position with his, his right elbow in front of his body, and he's able to absolutely smother this golf ball with his chest and hit this tight little fade here. Now, this, uh, this wedge shot's a great example. Let's take a look at this closer. So... Let's watch this whole thing. Let's watch him take it inside and up. Now, he's he's another one of these guys who flexes his lead wrist. It's bowed, and he gets that club in a great throwing position, and he hits down hard on that ball. This is how I want to hit the golf ball. This is how I want you to hit the golf ball because it's the best way to hit the golf ball. Guys, it gives you the most power. 
Okay, here's our first position at P2. He's going to lift the club up. Now I'm going to put a dot at the point when he's basically inside the most before he starts to have to go over. If you take the club up inside enough, your lead arm will prescribe this half moon shape because you run out of space and that arm is going to have to curve on its way up and it sets you up into the position where you can go OTT and get into this tremendous leverage position that we see Victor Hovland in where he's about to smash this little lob wedge. You know, and that's a pretty generous divot as well. A lot of guys talk about just clipping it and it looks like he went down and got it. Himself. Well, the lead kind of shrunk around him. Now this drive is just so much fun to watch. <laughs> so this is what I want to do. I want to wail on a power fade like this. So that, that tremendous bow at the top of the wrist, but to me, what I'm focused on is the throwing position for his right hand at the top. And boy, is he using the ground great. So let's watch this one more time and key in on his Nikes. So it looks to me like he rocks back into his trail heel. This is an important move that I've talked about for a long time. It looks like his toes are light in his right foot. And now we watch the transition and we're going to see his toes are breaking here. Look at his left foot. He's got to break in order to smash. And that left foot actually has to turn out a little bit. Let's watch this swing one more time, paying attention to his finish. There's so much energy from him getting around and over. He's got a nice low left exit, and the energy of this just carries him up to a beautiful finish. I love the athleticism that's on display with this golf swing. And look at how hard he throws down. Look at his right wrist. You see that? right wrist is now completely bowed and the left wrist is flexed. You see this in Ben Hogan as well. So now let's put our dots in and take a look at Mr. Hovland's trace. Inside up and over. Oh, that is a work of beauty. Now let's watch it one more time. Go a little bit slower. Now it looks like he takes it away down the line in the conventional manner that most people do it today. But right here around P2, we start seeing him work that handle inside and up a little bit more than you might see some other players on tour right now. Now we're going to see the distinctive half moon pattern from someone who takes it up deep to the inside. And almost by virtue of being so inside, he has nowhere to go but over, which is a good thing. But he's in a position now to really leverage the golf club. And wow, boy, does he look like he is ready to smash. That is what we want in our golf swing, guys. I hope that every day you guys get to experience the same thing because... This is something spectacular to behold. What an awesome golf swing. Oh, that is just crushed. So again, the freewheeling nature of this is, is what I would like to have in my swing. I've talked about wanting to lift my hands a little bit higher. That's something that I would like because I think my shoulders get too flat sometimes. But here we can see one beautifully executed, over-the-top miracle swing. Let's watch this thing of beauty one more time just because it's poetry in motion. Guys, if you're not swinging over the top, you're missing out on a miracle. 
I really want you guys to go to myswingevolution.com, pick up a subscription to MSE TV, or get the video, The Over the Top Miracle Swing, because it's changing lives, it's changed mine, and it's changing many others. I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. I want you to swing over the top. You heard me, now hear me out. My little over the top move is the final puzzle piece that I've been searching for for 12 years. I want you to swing over the top because it's easy, it's natural, and many of the greatest golfers in history swung over the top. Do you think uh, you picked up some yardage since we've been working oh, on this stuff? On the driver at least 50 to 60 yards. A few decades ago when golf became a big industry, they began to teach swinging wide and out instead of inside and up. This single change in instruction doomed three generations of golfers. I spent 30 years with a dumpster fire swing trying to figure this out. That's why I started my swing evolution. If you're tired of being a bad golfer, click the link below to experience your very own miracle.